Hi. Uh, how are you guys doing? Okay, so oh, hold on a sec. Never mind. I couldn't find it. <coughs> Pardon my voice. I just got out of the hospital after nine days. Um, I'm a little sweaty because I just took the dog for a long ass walk, and it's hot out here and humid. <laughs> okay, I see. Um, today is probably not going to be a great party. Ow. In this vlog, but, um, where the hell is my ashtray? I have to use the frog again. My frog is very trustworthy. He lets me put ashes on him. He's made of stone, don't worry. I have a bottle of essential camphor and rosemary. Now the rosemary is good. and I'm going to use that. The camphor I'll use when we're sick. Mmm. I love the smell of essential oils. Um, rosemary and I need tea tree. That's what I'm going to get today. Um, on my crazy manic run. I got out of the hospital last night at like, let's try the light special effects. There we go. I got out of the hospital last night at about, um, 11 o'clock. And... That's not fun. No. So, um, I can't set this up either. It's just going to be like this. We're not going to have it. We're not going to take it anymore. Anymore. Okay, anyway. Sorry to get loud like that. <laughs> I can get louder. So... I was in the hospital for nine days, didn't smoke, because it's illegal here to smoke on hospital grounds. I don't know if that's like nationwide or whatever, but it sucks. And I took my first cigarette puff at about midnight, and it was really good, and it was really gross. After nine days of not having a cigarette, it was a little, I don't know, I guess I could taste the other chemicals in it, which makes me want to quit. I think I'm going to quit. Yeah, my ass. When I find a better vice, I will quit. For right now, no, not going to happen. I've got too much shit going on. <clears throat> I was going to wear a wig for you. I don't know if I told you that already. But I couldn't find the one I wanted. I think I lost it somewhere. <sighs> I want to be a vampire. I was up all night long and I called my cousin. One that I love. <laughs> and she talked to me. I was very manic because I was so, so hyped about getting to go home, you know. <clears throat> I got all the doctors. I was like the squeaky wheel. I got all the doctors to, to, um, okay, look, this is going to be about manic issues and depression, so if you don't want to hear it, go away. But I'll try and make it as entertaining as possible. Um, I was a squeaky wheel, got everything approved. I just was waiting for one doctor who usually shows up in the morning, but she showed up at 8 o'clock in, in the evening. So, what I did was I got her to release me, got my mom to come up there, we had to wait like an hour and a half. So, 
we ended up leaving at like 11.30 p.m. And we were, we were, um, home by like midnight-ish. And I, once we got home, it was night. She had to work the next day and went to bed and like I had all this built up energy from the day and I didn't know what to do with it and I couldn't do anything about it it was just there and all of a sudden all these voices start up in my head and they keep going and going around and around and around and you know this and that this and that drink some milk oh it feels good you know what take a bath cleanse it Wipe the hospital off of you. Take it away. Take it away. Oh, you're doing good. Wow. Look at that. A strawberry. You know, shit that doesn't make sense and shit that does is constantly going through your head 100 miles an hour, maybe a thousand, and it never stops. Ever. It just doesn't stop. And you're so hyped up and you're so hyped up and it's like when is this going to end and you wear your body out and your mind because your mind is like going 100 miles an hour and you've got to do this and that and it makes you think that you've got all this energy but you really don't and you end up wearing yourself out by the end of the day or even within an hour so I was up all night um McDonald's has good coffee. I like it. Um, five creamers, five sugars. Yeah, that's uh, me. But manic, crazy, crazy shit going through your head constantly. And even when it's not, you've got all this energy in your mind, and it makes you think that your body can run and run and run, and you're just worn out, but you can't stop your head from spinning. You can't stop the constant rush of information and voices and this and that and this and that going a hundred miles an hour. And um, then there's the depression part of it. I got depressed in this manic spell and called my cousin whom I love and she was very good. She told me I needed to find the real Valerie, but first she listened to me cry about Kim, a girl from the church that I left. Her baby is very sick. He's bloated, he's on tubes, and it just kills me. And I pray for him, and I hate it. I hate it that he's like that and she told me don't worry about them she said it's good that in your heart you pray for them but worry about getting Valerie fixed fix Valerie that's my name I guess you know that now get Valerie fixed and uh, Valerie needs to get fixed now they adjusted my medication and I need to go get it at the pharmacy but I have to borrow the money from my grandma because I've only got twenty dollars and that's got to go on some tea tree oil for some pain stuff I do holistic healing and I have a pain rub that really works an ounce of um, almond oil which soaks into the skin 20 drops of rosemary essential oil, 20 drops of tea tree essential oil. Mix it together. The almond oil takes both of those in. The rosemary starts the blood to circulating and the tea tree numbs the pain. It works. I don't know. I've tried it on many people and their horrible arthritis went away and my mom's back pain went away and my grandma's my grandma's back pain went away and her leg pain and blah 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 so anyway 
it's almost my 10 minutes I'll continue later you know I just want you guys to know that it's not easy to be in this state and there's a lot of us like that I think most of my generation most of the world I think we're all crazy just get diagnosed <laughs>